Hey, 10th grade, what's up? It's Miss Mac. I just have a quick weekly announcement for you and then everything else will be on Google Classroom for this week. Hope you guys all had a good weekend. And yeah, so for this week, the big thing is your research paper is due on Wednesday on turnitin.com. And if you're having any issues with turnitin.com, just turn it in on Google Classroom. And again, all your resources are there, your rubric, the checklist and prompt, my sample essay, use all that good stuff. And also I was really excited looking at all the extra credit peer review responses that I got. Um, it looks like you guys did a good job, whether you read with someone in class or you had a parent or sibling read it. Just keep in mind that I did not read the rough drafts at all. I looked over the peer review sheet or the notes that you made, but I didn't read any part of your rough draft. So if you're questioning um, a comment that a peer reviewer made and you want to check with me to see if that's good feedback, you're welcome to do that. But I didn't want you to think that I, just because you got 100% on the extra credit that I read your essay too. I'm sure they're amazing though. And for the essay this week, the research paper, if you're late, it's not the end of the world. Turn it in when you can. I'm not taking off late, late points, um, but do eventually we're going to get into the podcast unit. So I don't want you all to get too far behind. And if you have any questions, I have office hours Monday from 9.30 to 10, and then Tuesday, Thursday from 2 to 2.30. Even if you just wanna pop by and have me read your thesis, or if you have a specific question, again, please don't just send me your essay and say, Miss Mac, can you read this? Is it good? Please ask me specific questions, and if something major happens, you can always revise afterwards. And my last comment is that every person who's emailed me about MLA formatting, how do I do this, how do I do that, I've just gone to the Purdue OWL website, copied and pasted directly into the email. So if you feel like helping Miss Mac out and going to the Purdue OWL yourself, they have so much information on MLA formatting, but otherwise feel free to get in touch with me. Um, so the podcast, we're not doing anything new this week other than the research paper. So Thursday and Friday, if you're already done with your paper, you can work on your podcast log at number five, which will be assigned on Tuesday. And then Monday today, podcast uh, log number four is due. I did make some changes to number five, just since we're going into the actual podcast unit. So make sure you read it and you're not just using podcast log number one, that you're specifically using podcast log number five. And so this will take us through the end of the year. And what I've done so far though, if you would like to plan and see where we're going is I published a calendar of the podcast unit. So it's from today through the end of the year. And it's just a brief outline of what's going on every day and when assignments are due. It may change, so keep that in mind with distance learning or whatever as we get into the podcast unit since this is the first time I've done it. Um, but hopefully that lets you know where we're going and how you need to pace with all your other classes. And then just remember that Google Classroom is like the final place where everything's due and those are the official um, due dates. So if you're not sure if it's the calendar of Google Classroom, it's Google Classroom. But that just helped me plan um, and hopefully that will help you plan. And then starting not this week, but next week, then we'll actually get into the podcast unit and you'll have some examples from me as well. The last thing for this week is the Daily Mac Challenge. I've been having a lot of fun. It keeps me entertained. But but some of you are doing so great. You're posting every day. It's really fun to see what you have to say. I was really happy that in and out just like destroyed Shake Shack on Friday, but I'll definitely try Habit Burger. Thanks guys for those recommendations. You all, when we can, should go to Grill Mall in Alhambra. It's really good. Heavy metal themed burger place. Okay, so here's my challenge, my double challenge, I guess, for the Mac challenge. If you post every single day next week, either on the Padlet or on Instagram. And make sure you put your name on the Padlet. I still have like one or two people who don't get credit because they don't put their name. And on Instagram, if it's not obvious who you are, make sure I know, but for most of you, it's pretty obvious. So if you post every single day, I have been giving a little bits of extra credit for those of you who've been posting multiple times. But for this week and this week alone, if you post every single day, you can have a bonus of one or two things. One, five points of extra credit on your research paper can have them. Awesome. Fantastic. Right? Forgot your words of the week. Cool. That'll cover it. Whatever. Um, the second option is that you get a free hundred percent past, present, or future on a podcast log. So if you haven't done one, you just want to just knock out that zero, you can have a freebie for that homework. Um, so those are your two choices for this week. Check in every day. I post them again. You can't post late. So some of you I know are becoming night owls and staying up all night. So I think you may have missed the challenge because you're sleeping throughout the entire day. Um, so just make sure that you do check in and go outside this week in the sunshine because it's gonna be beautiful. Make sure you guys wear your sunscreen.
because it's going to be hopefully up in the 90s. I miss you guys. I hope you're well. Take care. Let me know if you have any questions about your essay and check back in with you in office hours or next week. Bye.